question, all right, you might think of a hundred things that are gaps. If you think of a hundred things, if you think of ten things that are gaps, narrow it down. Okay, there's a word up here. What are the jugular gaps? These are the, if I don't do this, I don't have life, I don't have blood that's going to me from here to there. If you're not trying to make this an all-encompassing, I need every tiny little uh, T-cross and I dotted in my plan to get there. We're trying to go after that part of that focus to make this a very strategic element. When you identify these jugular gaps, where you're headed is the things you identify as bridges will be the elements that help you close the gap. So can, do you have the picture in your head? You're standing over here. You want to get over there, I want to get to where Brandon is. I have to identify what is in this space. What are these gaps that we need to go close and we'll build bridges to get there. Questions on that or insights from any of the trip guides who have gone through this process before? Anything additional you would offer in here? I think we're going to need a copy of it. Everybody's like, <laughs> you feel like yeah, we're all up, still on the water, we're going to be calm. We'll, we'll, take, we'll take care of that before we move on. These are just the rest of the questions that you see right here uh, on the page. And again, this is the essential. You're not building an all-encompassing everything on their plan. What are my jugular gaps? What are those most important? I have to close this gap for me to have life breathed into my vision. And then what are the plans that are essential to get there? Right. This is where strategic, smart thinking, and occasionally that moment of intuition that violates all of that, but that intuition says, I need to go do this. This is where that blending really gets important to be able to help you prioritize.